All right, so at one point you're going to want to change your FEP. Okay, and when you want to change your FEP, it kind of looks like this. So if you look at it, it's really scratched up, really marred, been through a lot. Um, it might be leaking, it might be super cloudy, but we're going to take this part and change it. So you can get FEP. On Amazon, FEP release liner paper. Links are below for both the liner and the FEP. And you know, like in this video is just how to change it out and fix it. So I would suggest a few things. One, you have a table that's kind of clean. Okay. Then you get some even cleaner paper towel. And lay down yourself a nice little bed of clean, clean, clean. There we go. Nice, nice. Okay. So now your replacement. Like you should have two of these, okay? You should have two of these and you should have uh, two of the build plates too, in my recommendation. That way when one goes bad, let's say I clean this one and I want to replace the FEP, it doesn't like screw up my production because I just have an extra one. So I, I, while I'm changing this, I can, I can still print. So get two printing plates when you have a 3D resin 3D printer and get two of these cartridges. And they're very inexpensive with Elgu. Oh, they're just so inexpensive. So, when you buy one, it comes with all these cool tools. Okay. Also comes with some replacement screws, just in case you screw up. And the first thing we're going to do is remove all these screws going all the way around. So let me zoom in and give you an idea of what we're looking at. Boom. So we'll find the Allen wrench that actually fits. And I think it's going to be, if I remember right, it's two different. Yeah, it's two different ones. So these two right here, there's a darker one and a silver one. Okay, so just to loosen these all up. This might take a minute. All right, so now I have all 16 screws pulled out of the first run. Just comes out like that. Boom. So it separates from the frame itself. Set the frame over to the side. You're concentrating on this thing. It looks like a license plate. You flip it over, and now there is 24 additional screws that you must pull out. <laughs> all right, so now that all the screws are done, take this and put it off to the side. And here is your piece of stuff. We need, right? Okay, so now that you've got your old FEP removed, now you open your book, the book of FEP.
and you're going to find yourself a piece of fat. Please make sure that you're only grabbing one piece of FEP because the FEP likes to stick to itself. Okay. And it comes a lot like this. Okay, there's two parts, boom, okay. So you take it off, boom, okay. This is just a sheet of really thin paper. This is the actual FEP, and you put the FEP down. So I put it, and it didn't matter what direction you put it on, in my humble opinion, because both sides are really good. So, and it doesn't really matter too much about how you get this lined up because you're going to end up trimming it in the end. So you just get it over it, then you sandwich it like that. So I do like putting, just in case, I like putting the, the edge down that I took this translucent thing off. So that super clear side is on this side. So laying on top of the paper towel. Just to be clear. Not that it matters. I did it the other way too, it didn't matter. Okay, so I'm just aligning this so I have like a little extra around the outside edge. And this is the kind of painful part, really. Because not only do you have to put the screws in, but you have to kind of like press down on them a little bit and rock them a little bit to get them started. and they permeate the FEP. So what I do is I put one there. And you're only putting these in the ones that have a little divot. So they're inset. So I started one here, one here, and then I'm going to put one here, one here, one here, one here. And then I'll put all the rest of the screws in. Probably do that off camera though, because it's boring. Alright, so before we go much further, we have to trim the FEP. So you just take an X-Acto blade and trim it around the outside edge of the gasket. Alright, also what I would do is take some denatured alcohol. If you see it, like there's this little bit of resin that got left over, so I'm going to wipe that off with some denatured alcohol before I go to the next step. Alright, so you get all your screws in. Oh, I got one more. Shoot. Two more. <laughs> so check, 
check if you got all your screws in. I think I'm missing a couple. Okay, so now that I've cleaned this off, I'm going to flip it so it goes like that. It lays down in there. And you don't have to press down too much, just make sure it's in that channel. And then what I do is I put the longer screws in first. So I'll go like that and I'll poke it through the FEP. just to get them started and then I tighten this one first so if you ever uh, put on a spare tire or tighten a drum go this one first and go across and do this one And do this one. Doesn't say that to do that in a book, but that's a good sound. It's a good sound. So there we go. Now, as it says, not too tight. So very descriptive um, in the directions so don't do it too tight in other words don't tighten them all the way and I really wish they just made one Allen but they didn't so I'm gonna put these additional screws on alright so there we go Very cool. Now, what I would do, just to test it, is get yourself some distilled water, okay? Just kind of pour it in there and pour it right back out. See if it leaks, okay? That's the best way to do it. All right, so there we go. We got the distilled water in. looking good and the distilled water is definitely a lot thinner than the resin so if the water leaks resin obviously is going to leak nice okay so I'll just pour that out and good to go if you are drying that the distilled water out um, don't wipe just kind of like this blot so I poured it out first and then I just blotted it uh, distilled water has no minerals so therefore it's not going to have any kind of uh, weird build up in there beautiful so that's how you change the FEP on your 3D printer if you need it. So if it's scratched up, if it's too cloudy, if you're just getting really bad prints, um, it's probably because of your FEP. So hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good one.